Yeah, let's give it a little pull. This car is, this is ridiculous. This is so stupid. There's an airplane flying up above and it's a little bit windy out here. So we'll make this quick. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Yeah, I couldn't leave well enough alone. Yes, yeah, so another carbon fiber hood, but this was a little bit different uh, before we had the SA type and I thought it was mm, a little rice maybe, but anyway, so this one's a little bit more OEM. The cool thing is I got it from my buddy for like 500 bucks. <laughs> it's just crazy. He was selling his 18 Mustang. Beautiful car, some bags, intake tune, headers, that kind of deal. But this hood came off of his car. Good friend of mine, he only wanted like 500 bucks, man. So I couldn't pass it up. We had to do it. Another carbon hood. This has that OEM GT350 uh, look, which this is their replica hood from Anderson Composites. But I mean, look at the profile here. It is so mean. So we're gonna do something with the grill coming soon. Parts are in the mail. But um, yeah, I, I'm digging the stance. I'm digging the look, the lines and everything. So my thing though is I'm not actually sure if I'm gonna leave this hood carbon. I might actually paint it red. Let me know in the comments what would you do if this was yours. Leave it alone, paint it red get rid of it go back stock oem i'm really not sure what to do man because it's so delicious looking look at the profile here uh it's got a considerable height difference over the stock one so to give you a reference the stock hood pretty much is on top of this piece of plastic here this cowl and you can actually see some of the wiper above the hood on an 18 plus but if you look at the hump here you can kind of get an idea of what that looks like now if we jump into the interior and check out the view because i do want to show you this so so cool looking to see now look at this so all of that cow yeah so this hood is not the highlight of today's video we're gonna actually go back to the garage i have something else that uh well hopefully it's arrived by now i came out here to uh, do this portion of the video show you the hood show you the goodies show you the carbon because i have an addiction at this point i think i might need some therapy but <laughs> um we have something else coming in the mail and it's going to be the highlight of the video guys i am so excited to get it and hopefully it fits hopefully we have success with it because i'm not really sure it may be a complete epic failure i don't know let me know down in the comments what do you guys think about the car i mean it's it's really coming together and i know all, performance mods and all that stuff are coming obviously we're going to do racetrack stuff coming soon by the way we finally finished our thousand mile break in yes finally time to put this bad girl on the racetrack and see what she will do with the new vmp odin and our built 52 engine from rpg so excited but so delicious let me know in the comments again for like the 19th time what do you think about the hood leave it carbon paint it what do you think by the way i get asked all the time what kind of wheels are these they're the velgan vf5s bought them from a friend of mine over at modernmuscleperformance.net hooked me up with a great deal they're 20 by 10, 20 by 11. Finished in a Nitto G2 front. It's a 285-35-20. In the rear, we have the all-new Nitto 555R2 tires in a 305-35-20. I think that's enough chit-chat, though, guys. We're going to go back to the garage and install some more goodies onto the Mustang. I know more stuff that has nothing to do with performance, but I just can't help myself. Gabe, when you're watching this video, I appreciate the hookup on the hood. 
Let me know what you guys think again. Man, 500 bucks, I could not pass it up. But all right, let's go back to the garage, let's go. All right, we got our box, finally, yay. All right, I cut the sides, but still sealed. Have not peaked. First reaction on camera. We'll see how this turns out. This is from overseas, so I'm not really sure if we're gonna be impressed or not. Um, All right, we have a steering wheel. Looks like it's packaged nicely, that's fine. This is an 18 plus steering wheel. Here we go guys, I'm excited. Let's see if I wasted my money or not. Looks like the stitching is pretty good so far, what we can tell. Perforated leather. Oh, look at that. That gets really nice. Oh, that's nice, that's beefy. I'm impressed. Hopefully it fits good. That's the uh, the most important thing. Uh, I've checked this over. I don't see any loose threads. I don't see any damage. I don't see any scuffs. I don't see anything really wrong with the steering wheel whatsoever. Uh, I'm actually not even sure if this is like a Ford cast wheel or not. I mean, it looks and feels like the real deal, but um, yeah, we're just kind of going over the wheel a little bit. So, what's cool is you got these finger grooves here. This looks really cool, man. So white stitching. I did not go with a center stripe because on anything other than a Shelby, I just, it just kind of throws my eyes off. I don't know. It's just me, you know, just personal preference. But if the steering wheel is not aligned perfectly in the car or whatever, you see like the, the, the uh, you see the center stripe and it's kind of like cocked one way or the other and it just bothers me. So I went without the stripe. Lots more goodies, lots more content, lots more video comments. So subscribe if you're new. But this thing is ready to get unleashed on the track because our break in miles, like I said, are done. So time to go racing. But let's install this first. Have some fun. Let's go. I don't know. I'm a little bit nervous. Honestly, I'm just updating the camera before I get started. That, uh, yeah, this could be a huge waste of money. But the cool thing is there is a warranty on this product or a, like 30 days of it. So if it doesn't fit or whatever, I got a whole month to return it and get my money back. But hopefully we won't have to do that. All right, guys, we have the two steering wheels side by side. And man, what a difference. Check this out. This is, this is fancy. Let's go. This is uh, super fancy. Check this out. So old versus the new. Now, again, this is a more cost-friendly version. I think it's made by Ustar. It actually came from, like, Taiwan, believe it or not. So a lot of these companies that sell aftermarket wheels for five, six, seven, even $800 sometimes, they generally all, if you look at the shape and everything, a lot of times they come from the same place. So, but pretty self-explanatory, straightforward from here, we're going to transfer all of these guts on this OEM steering wheel to this one. Okay guys, we came back to our spot. We are complete. Check this thing out, man. It is so sick. I can't believe. All right, before we get into the remaining of the video, little disclaimer, this is an eBay steering wheel. I paid like 400 bucks for it. I can't even, I'm telling you, and I've, I'm shocked to tell you that the, the quality is actually really good. The fitment is OEM almost perfect it's we're about 95 percent there let me just show you let me, let's just take check this out but now we got carbon 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 everywhere i really like this man i i you can go overboard with this stuff we got to fix this if any companies are out there that uh, have carbon fiber like the clip on overlays not the stickers man i don't want that um hit me up please i would love to have it on the car let's look at this this stitching is great so this is a white stitch it's kind of gray in color but it matches somewhat the the premium trim here which is actually a dark gray but you can see that it's very close you can get these made to order actually there's a little bit of lead time you know if you want this gray if you want it red or whatever if you want a center stripe um, if you want alcantara uh, smooth leather perforated whatever your flavor is they can pretty much do it this is uh, made by a company called U star the let's talk about panel gaps and things that i ran into and nothing so i've installed steering wheels before and this is typically where you find problem areas is the fitment uh even on the back it's it's all actually perfect I mean, I had no hiccups, no problems installing it and putting it all together. And we'll finish up the video, but I'm in, I'm very impressed. I'll link down below in the description. If you want to pick up a wheel like this, not sponsored or anything. I'm just really impressed. I'm thrilled. More girthy. There's actually little finger grooves. I've seen some of the other steering wheels out there where the finger grooves on the back here and like back here are really pronounced. These back here are, I can sink my fingers all the way into them. 
these ones up here are more smooth than anything and I actually enjoy that so you can feel some grip on the back there with your fingers but it's not it's not overdone it's just right it's just perfect in my opinion uh, your 10 and 2 notches these are great fit your thumb is fine I don't drive like this I drive like that or like this but they're they're great and they look good and uh, they feel good we're not too fat down here we got about the same diameter going around which I like it's more of an oval kind of shape versus like a full circle and I feel like maybe my hands are a little bit more tighter together I actually like that flat bottom and then of course around top I think for the money here it's it's perfect look we have no gaps no gaps anywhere all this is great I've seen some of the other cheap steering wheels and they just don't fit at all I mean you'll you'll have gaps here which I've seen over and over and over again but everything fit perfectly I have nothing negative and I mean maybe they could have extended the leather back here a little bit more to come in but there's there's really no gaps um, I think for the money it is absolutely perfect so let's let's take it for a ride and uh, I'm not gonna miss the uh, heated steering wheel I never used it <laughs> I love the blower one oh my gosh I love this car it's really coming together it's really cool to be able to see all the carbon the carbon and uh, you know I don't want to overdo it it's just I like it you know what I mean but this this needs to be done and we're pretty much I would like this whole piece to be carbon I just want a nice I want to sit in a Mustang and feel like it's worth more than they are you know what I mean and we do have the power we have the speed we got a built motor built transmission built suspension blower lots of power fuel system everything is ready to run like you know a mid to high eight in the corner which will come but yes yes let's finish off this video with a pull yeah let's give a little pull This is ridiculous. This is so stupid. This power is so stupid. Oh, I love the new tuner that we have tuning this thing, man. Daryl Wingard, he's, he's awesome, guys. We're gonna have more content videos explaining everything coming up here very, very soon. But I'm in love with the steering wheel. I think it's a home run. I think it's a home run. It feels good. I love it. I love it. I love it. Just perfect all right guys that's the video i appreciate all you guys watching yeah stay tuned for the next videos to come you're not going to want to miss the next video if you made it this far but i will see all you guys later bye